the First World War was born as well. So we're turning now down, this is Charlotte Street, and Charlotte was the Queen, the wife of George III. So young James Craig knew which side his bread was battered on. When he took the plan down to England to be presented to the King, he had already named many of the streets after the King and his family and his dynasty, the Hanoverians and even his grandfather, Frederick. So you see a lot of street names around Edinburgh based around the Georgian dynasty. It didn't do him any harm because he also won the competition for part of Glasgow. And Blythewood Square in Glasgow is also designed by James Craig. So we're swinging now just onto the last part of Princes Street. And we're going to turn left, passing on our left St. John's Church which is on the end of Princess Street Gardens. As we turn left, take a look right, because you'll see a, a very large red brick building. This is the Caledonian Hotel. This was originally a, a railway terminus hotel. Uh, the railway has now been superseded. The, there's a tunnel that goes underneath it and joins up into Waverley Station to our left. Just on our left now, there's a, a small round tower. This is a watchtower. And the reason why it's a watchtower looking out over a graveyard is that there was a history of grave robbing, not for goods but for the bodies, because the medical students in Edinburgh uh, needed anatomy lessons and the administrators weren't too fussy of where the bodies came from and didn't ask any questions. Um, so there was quite a trade in bodies from the graveyards, that's why they had to have permanent uh, guards set up and even people would bury their uh, loved ones in steel coffins with padlocks on. But um, we're just coming into an area which is known as the stamping ground of Burke and Hare. And these were two notorious criminals who decided to cut out the middleman, didn't wait till someone would die, they would just murder them and deliver them. Um, so eventually they were found out because the bodies were too fresh and were suspicious. <laughs> but they would be operating in this part of the world. Now I can see high above us now Edinburgh Castle on its rock which is the core of an old volcano something that was left behind when all the glaciers passed over it couldn't break this down 440 feet of cliff and the castle high above it. High above us now is part of the the Great Hall and the King's Chamber this dates from 1500 and it's remarkable how well it's managed to cling onto the rock all those years. So the, the masons at the time, we'd call them engineers now, they knew what they were doing. We're heading up Johnston Terrace and you'll see soon some new structure across the Esplanade. This is the temporary structure for the Esplanade 8,000 seat stadium for the military tattoo that happens between, well it's put up in June each year and comes down again in October.